Tip number five, use a higher aperture. Rather than trying to go for the extreme shallow depth of field all the time, don't feel like you have to live there with a vehicle. It's a very long thing. So even if it's parked at a 45 degree angle on an extreme shallow depth of field at a low aperture, the front of the car is gonna be in focus, the back of it's gonna be out of focus. You've waited so long to have an awesome shallow depth of field option when you got a real camera and real lenses to be able to do that. They go for the most extreme shallow depth of field that they can achieve all the time, all their shots, and a cinematic because that is when all your shots are that way it just starts to detract from how special that is it doesn't make things pop anymore because it's all the same and when you just make it a full depth of field you're going to allow yourself to pull better focus especially if you're doing moving car shots and the whole car can actually be in focus at one time which can be pretty important uh, for the product it looks kind of weird to constantly have half of the car out of focus just because you want that shallow depth of field